Okay? This is a function in F in terms of V. Am I right? You are supposed to find the derivative of this function. Before you can do that, what must we do first? Simplify. Which one we need to simplify? The square root. Can you see these are two composite functions, two bracket terms, one term multiplied by the other term. So if we need to do our differentiation, it means that we need to make use of the product rule. Okay, so now I'm going to perform the product rule. I say don't copy, please look here first. I just need you to understand. Okay, if I want to find the first derivative of this function, what must I write? Do I still write dy dx? f from v, uh, this is in terms of v, f from v. Okay, I need to do my differentiation. What do I do to my first term? Differentiate. How do I differentiate my first term over here? Singyue. Power 1, right? Do I need to bother? No need. Straight away differentiate inside. Differentiate 3, 0. Differentiate minus b squared. Ah, negative 2b, uh, not negative b. Uh, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. Are we done for the first one? Once we have differentiated the first term, what do we do? Keep the second. So I just continue to write. Plus, differentiate the second now. Kai Chen, can you help me do the differentiation for the second one? Half. Bracket Power Power Ah, half minus 1 is negative half Then differentiate inside, I get 5 Are we done? No What must we do? Ah, keep the first I'm very worried You are so happy you differentiated A lot of times you forget to keep the first So remember, you need to keep the first Okay, now comes the part Chiao Xing sure blur already. <laughs> Factorize. Okay, Chiao Xing, tell me. We go term by term. Tell me, numbers. Anything we need to factorize for the number? Number, no need, huh? Okay. Anything we need to factorize for V? No, 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 no. V by itself, huh? Don't have. Okay, number cannot take out. The V must be by itself that you can take out, don't have. So now, Chelsea, can you see there's a bracket that is common? Thank you. That is the only common bracket. I just say common only. Okay? <laughs> this is a common one. So that must be the common term. Chelsea, when we take out the common bracket, just like previous, we take out with the one for bigger power or smaller power. Smaller. Half and negative half. Which one is smaller? Then we are ready. Okay? What is left inside here? Do we continue writing minus 2b? Yes. Chelsea, we took out this bracket term. We took out the smaller one. This is the bigger one. Am I right to say there is still a 5b plus 4? But power what? Power what? I already told you just now already, it's in red color there. One. one. It will always be power one. Because the difference of these two power will always be one. Why? Because the other one is minus one now, of course the difference must be one. So I say again, uh, so long you take out the smaller power, the one with the bigger power, you will always be left with power one. Do you need to write this power 1 for me? Not necessary, but I'm going to emphasize until you are very familiar with it. Okay? We are done for the first one. Now the second one. Okay? So, what is left in the second term after we have taken out this bracket? Do we need the half? Do we need the 5? 
Okay, so let me write a 5 over 2. Agree? I multiply together, huh? So third, with any more of the 5 e plus 4? No more, huh? Taken out already. Do we still have a 3 minus b square? Yes. Now, class, tell me, what do you need to do next? Uh, factorize. We factorize it. Simplify what? Ah, the square bracket now. Okay, everything term by term multiply inside. Now, we have to simplify further. Agree? Okay, we need to simplify this answer. Why? This is a negative power. How can I make this a positive power? Ah, bring it downstairs. Ah. General office. <laughs> put it as a denominator. Alright, I'm going to put this as a denominator. Agree? Yes. I'm going to rewrite what is on top. And you tell me whether are you going to accept this answer. Why not? We can't have a fraction within a fraction. So how can we remove the fraction? Times 2 on top means you must multiply by 2 below. Why does that concept work? Now? Have you ever wondered? Because, yes, this is seen as 2 mul multiply by 2 divided by 2. So this is just seen as multiply by 1. You are trying to rationalize as well. So in this case, instead of writing a power half, I can write as a square root as well. Of course, if you want to write by a power half, you can still do so. Alright, this is a very popular question. Not that it's difficult, the only thing is I will definitely give you a square root. Subsequently, I will give you a cube root. Okay, for sure. Can? Yes. Oh, uh, this one was how many marks? The difficulty level usually this kind of question for. Uh, but this is a giveaway question. I cannot change. The only change thing I change is the number. We just have to practice and you will get familiar with it. Alright, I'll give you some time to copy down.